boys and girls, welcome to Miss Frida's Pigs. And this is where I will be reading some of my favorite titles to you. And today we will be reading Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre. Let's get into our story. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully bangy and his legs were rather thin. Look at his long, slim neck and those, those thin legs. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at his knees. You see Jerry trying to run around and his knees was rather thin, so he began to buckle. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad, because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Jungle dance. And look at all the animals skipping and prancing and dancing around. And in the jungle, some animals that you might find is the vervet monkey. You might find the hyena. And impala. A baboon. The chimpanzee. The rhinoceros. We have our zebra. The lion, a cheetah, and we also have an anteater and a giraffe. All of those animals you might find in the jungle. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos walked and rolled. The lions then they tangled, which was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with their very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. So Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all laugh. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. There, right, he thought, I am useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Look how sad Gerald looks. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, <laughs> coughed the cricket, who seen Gerald early on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. So Jerry is beginning to listen to the swaying grass and the beautiful sound of the trees and the breeze, and he is beginning to feel the music. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hubs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. What do you think Gerald was beginning to do? His hubs are shuffling, making circles on the ground and his neck is swaying back and forth and his tail is swishing around. He's beginning to feel the music. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backwards somersault and leaped up in the air. 
Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Look how excited Gerald is. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we ever, ever seen. How is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with the bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. I hope you have enjoyed Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre. See you next time.